So, what is up, guys? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be, and welcome to my five best launchers for November 2016. Now, I am rocking the Galaxy Note 5 for this video. That's not really the point here. We're talking about software. I did do Should You Buy a Galaxy Note 5 here in 2016 or late 2016, just yesterday. But if you're new to this channel, this is the phone that I rock most of the time right as of this current moment november 2016 i do have several other android phones but this is the one i use because it is premium but it is thunderstorming in the background so if the video sounds like shit because of that just uh bear with me through this one maybe i'll re-record it who knows but uh let's get into this so in the android world we do like to brag about our customization because you know apple devices don't have it it's quite the same and a lot of people might argue that's irrelevant blah 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 blue blah 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 whatever you want to say but over here i do have my applications here i have evi i have asap apis and nova but let's talk about each one of them more in depth let's start with evi so evi is one of my favorite launchers on android right now why because it's clean it reminds me a little bit of ios but it's very customizable so right here, we do have our universal search bar up at the top here for Evi, and it allows us to search anything we would like within our device. Going back, I do have a nice clean dock here, which is customizable, and you can make these icons smaller and bigger as we would expect here on an Android device. I do have my folder right here, and when you make folders, they're very translucent and very much like iOS, so you get a little bit of an iOS flair with an Android customization. So if I go over to the right, if I do a right swipe here, you can see I do have my translucent background with all of my applications that I need to get to. Very clean, very easy to find with a list view here. Now, if I swipe over to the left here, I do have all my widgets very cleanly laid out, very list view like. So very easy to get to this one as well. In the settings, I do have the ability to change my wallpaper, change my icon pack. Yes, you could change your icon pack on this awesome launcher. Home screen layout where you can change the rows. You can really get, you know, very precise on how you want this launcher here set up. So I do like that. Google Now option. So if you hit this, you can launch Google Now from the home button and you can clear your recent search results as well. Now, if you go this way, there is nothing. But if we do this, you can get to your home button there and go ahead and do Google Now features. So that's my first one on the list. That is Evi Launcher. To find this, just go into the Play Store and type in this right here, Evi Launcher from Evi Labs. That's my first launcher in terms of my favorite launchers of November 2016. Let's check the next one. So my next favorite launcher of November 2016, or number two on these five best, is ASAP Launcher. So I have to go into settings and go in here to make it the default launcher. But ASAP Launcher is very, I would say a very productive launcher. So it keeps your weather up here. It tells you you can get music right here. And right here on the hamburger menu, you can get to all of your applications really easy. A lot like what we've seen on Evi Labs, but this time it's not translucent. It's just very productive based launcher here. So if I tap the Google icon, of course, we are going to be able to Google search things. Now, if I tap the three dot menu, we do have ASAP settings right here where we can change our themes, look and feel cards. We can rate this as well. So I think I bumped the camera there, but never mind me. Over here, we do have cards. I just mentioned that. We do have look and feel here. Now, you do have to upgrade the Prime to get some more features here on ASAP, but it's a pretty nice launcher right out of the box. You do have a side toggle right there to get to some quick settings, which I do like here for this launcher as well. Now, if I swipe this way, I do have what we see here is our calendar events. So it's ASAP. I mean, I think it's called ASAP because as soon as possible, once you get in, you can go through things. You can create a to-do list here right to the right, and then you can swipe to the left for your frequent contacts as well as your weather. So it's a very, I would say, productive use launcher, a launcher that you're going to want to just get into your phone and remember, okay, I'm just going to go to the right, check my to-do list, come back home. And you do have the ability to have your favorite doc applications here for, you know, the most important applications you're going to have here. And of course, you could put applications on the home screen as well. But overall, that is the ASAP launcher. I do enjoy this one very much. Check it out. To get to this one, it's the same process as always. We're just going to go ahead and Google search it. Now, for some app uh, launchers, they might not be in your country. So if they're not, let us know down below so it can help people out to discover that. And maybe the developers will push it out to your country. But this is ASAP launcher. And this is my second favorite for November 2016. Let's get into the third one. 
All right, guys, my third favorite launcher for November 2016 is the Google Nexus launcher, or you could say the one from the Pixel. I love this launcher. This is one of my favorite launchers ever, just because it's so smooth and so clean. I mean, just look at how buttery smooth that is. Very smooth, very clean. And you can tap the Google search bar to go right there. You can tap the calendar right there. You could just click this to go up, or you could just swipe up from the bottom. So this is very much like what you're gonna get on the Google Pixel. Let me know if you guys wanna see a Google Pixel review View. I'm still thinking about doing that not sure if I'm going to do it but let me know if you want to see that but you could see I mean there's not much more to talk about it's a very clean simple launcher but this launcher is not available in the Play Store so if you guys want the link to where you can safely down this download the APK for this Google Pixel launcher let me know I'll try to provide it down below in the description when I get some time but let me know if you guys want to you know download this one or if you have this one let me know what your thoughts are on it for me this is one of the cleanest simplest sexiest Google launchers that you can get for your Android device. So that makes my list at number three for November 2016. Let's check out number four on this baby. All right, guys, so for number four on my favorite launchers of November 2016 is Apis. So Apis launcher is my favorite, my number four favorite for November 2016. So let's go. I just re-downloaded this. I did delete it before, but I have had this launcher in the past, but I re-downloaded this for this video because it is one of my favorites as well. So you can see this is a more heavily customizable launcher here, and it starts you out with so much going on right away. So you do have a very cube effect here, and you can get really get customizable here on Apis Launcher. There's so much going on here. So if you're the type of person who likes a ton going on in your launcher, you can see got this nice little drawer going on effect here. If you're the type of person who wants tons of features within your, you know, launcher, this is going to be one of those type of launchers. Now, this is not probably as feature rich as Go Launcher, but it's still pretty feature rich. You can see featured, you got categories in here as well as your latest stuff you can put on the launcher here. Let's go over to the left. A little bit sensitive on the note screen here, but you can see right there, pretty nice stuff. Got wallpapers in here, got themes going on in here, got mine, so you could basically set up your own account and have all of your own customizable themes and things like that. So this is Apis Launcher, very nice stuff. If we go into settings here, you can see that we have wallpapers and themes, which you already showed, Apis settings here, but we do have the appearance, we have screen transition effects, smart locker, auto boost, free swipe. So you could see, if we're just looking through this, there's a ton going on here with Apis Launcher here. It's gonna take you a little bit of time to learn this guy, but once you do learn it, I think there's quite a bit of features that can really get your phone looking the way, exactly the way you want it. And these icons, of course, as with most launchers, are customizable. So that is number four on my list. That is Apis Launcher. To find this guy, it is in the Play Store, unlike the Nexus Launcher prior that we just talked about. Just type in, once again, Apis. Let me go Apis. Apis Launcher. Type in Apis Launcher right there, and you can see from Apis Group, Apis Launcher themes and boosts. It's got a 4.5 star rating on across 5,119,000 reviews. So it's a very nice application. Let's get into my fifth and final, the gold standard of Android launchers, November 2016. Give it a guess. Give it a guess. Do you know what launcher this is? You got Nova? Did you say Nova? You were correct. Nova is my fifth best launcher for the month of November 2016 and the best. I'm not going to say, you know, this was not in sequential order as in, oh, the first one I mentioned was the best. The second was the second best. No, actually, it was kind of like the other way around. The fifth one was the best. The final, I saved the best for the last. First, the negatives, then the positives. We always talk about the best things last because that's what's most important at the end of the day. So Nova Launcher, I do have this customized a little bit. Now, you know, I can't sit here and say like, oh, this is how Nova Launcher looks because Nova Launcher is basically a blank slate of stock Android looking goodness. And then you go ahead and you customize it to your personal taste and your personal flavors. And you can see there is just so much going on, but in a very clean and easy to use fashion. So you got desktop settings here where you can really get customizable. And like, that's what I love about Nova Launcher. It's very clean and it's easy to like learn. So you got drawer app grid, icon size layout, 
very clean stuff right here circle but i do recommend if you are going to be rocking out with nova launcher go ahead and pick up the prime version you do get a lot of missing features if you do get the free version so it is worth i'm telling you guys it is worth to spend the money on the prime version if you're into android customization which i'm sure you probably are if you are watching this video you can see right there transition animations and i'm not going to go through everything but there is just so much going on here and what's nice about nova launcher is you can go ahead and select your other default launchers right here from the app so if you get tired of them it's not like they're trying to pressure you to use their launcher they just let you go ahead and switch your launcher right from their own launcher so that's what i love about them as well and nova is always updating their launcher so nova stays ahead of the curve when it comes to updates this is one of the most frequently updated launchers on the play store and i would go to say it's probably the most popular on the play store and for good reason it's pretty much the gold standard i would say of launchers for android and i'm pretty sure most of you were expecting to see nova launcher on this launchers video so you can see right there 10 million downloads in 4.6 star rating so yeah that's pretty much what is you know my favorite launchers for november 2016 that's five of them there's more but i didn't want to make this video too long i do love customizing android and you guys got to see just a few ways that i you know change up my android device every day with those five different launchers if you guys have any launchers you want to share with us to help us have a better android experience a more customizable android experience please don't be afraid to drop them down below in the comments. I do try my best to get back to your comments as you, most of you might have noticed. And uh, if this is your first time on the channel, subscribe and all that good shit. And uh, have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well and peace.